Hello, I'm Pla Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's Tarot for Thursday the 23rd of November 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. I give one question readings in there as well as channeling something for the collective. Um, you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website at any time. There's a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. I do all the pre-booked readings right at the start of the next live show, then send you the link to the replay. So you don't need to be able to make it live if you can't make it or if you forget to make it. Alternatively, you can come along live. You find the next live show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. You can click on set a reminder, notify me, something like that, and then come along live and book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. Get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them. Now, there's two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me every single month the first draw is for those of you that are subscribed to my channel that click like on this video or any video and leave a comment on them if you do that more times throughout the month on all of the videos that I publish throughout the month and that will get you many entries so good luck with that second way is by checking out my pick a card reads if you are drawn to purchase one of those deeper dives those extended readings that will get you an entry in as well so it's the purchases for the of the deeper dives for that month rather than on any of the pick a card reads that I have ever done because they are all time timeless as well so if you go on my pick a card read playlist and whichever one you're drawn to check that one out one of them might uh, resonate with you so what's in the energies for everybody today let's have a look we've got the tea ceremony tea ceremony is about being very tuned in calm aware precise about things do things from a place of calm um you, you might, if you tune in today, I mean, we did have those energies yesterday of tuning in as well. If you tune in and perhaps, you know, in meditation or relaxation, breathing techniques, anything like that, what you're drawn to do could be very simple yet profound. Um, doing something perhaps small, but in a very precise kind of way will get you your results sometimes we flounder around and we do too much and we're like this and that and I'll do this and then that and we think that we need to do something really big but if we really tune in there could be just something really small that we do but it's precisely what someone's looking for you know what I mean it's like it's why I tune in before I start my day of work of doing my videos and everything because even though I might not get a lot of people on my YouTube channel watching the videos I get the right people I know I've got the right people watching me because I this is the only business that I do it's my only way of making money it's and it's all I've needed for many many years and how is that even possible people generally don't are not able to do that with such a small ish following on the YouTube channel but I can you see so I'm getting the right people you're the right person and I know that and so when I tune in these readings sure they might not resonate with a massive amount of people but they're resonating with the right people and I know that right and so I'm precise about what I do I'm not going for the mass I don't want to read for the masses because the masses I've got energy that I don't really want to be tuning into quite frankly <laughs> I want to be tuning into your guys energy it's way nicer for me right and so the stuff that I do and perhaps the stuff that you need to do is is more is smaller and more precise and to to reach the people that you're here to reach it feels like a work thing road less travel and gratitude and be grateful for that too i'm grateful for it when i when i really you know sometimes i think wouldn't it be great if i just like if i got a massive youtube following and could just make the videos wouldn't that be great and then it's like it's not really my path though because i know all the crap that comes along with that um I've experienced some of that, you know. So so be grateful for what you do get because sometimes the universe is like, oh, Claire, you don't really want that, you know. <laughs> you don't really want that. You just want to be helping the hit the people that you're here to help. You know? It's not about me this reading though, it's about you. So be grateful for it's almost saying like be, be grateful, tune in and be grateful for how the universe is hindering you from what you don't really want. What what will bring more negative than it'll bring positive and it's just like little things that you can do but precise little things you know what I mean 
it's that stuff you got dream follow your yearning for the deep blue sea so go deeper rather than go bigger go deep or go home rather than go big or go home <laughs> go deep and small and go, or go home and don't listen to the ones that are saying go big or go home oh well, perhaps that's right for them it could be right for them right so if i was tuning into like the majority of the collective it would probably as a reader and there are readers out there doing that it's probably right for them to have a huge youtube channel and be reaching many people yeah so the go big or go home message would be right for them but not right for us not right for the likes of you and me you and i the chariot could be pulled in two directions yeah and and so some of you might be might have learned from people that are on a different path than you or be comparing yourself to people that are on a different path than you and there's no comparison we've got to trust we've got to trust our own intuition and what we get you are manifesting something cool so use the resources that you've got in your path to manifest things do it your way that's why there's no competition really with tarot readers because we're all doing it our own way and we're not here to serve everyone right just those that resonate with us We've got the strength card here it's like when people start complaining like on youtube because sometimes people do it's like it's just not for you this reading is not for you and it's not meant to be for you i shouldn't change so you i'm, I'm the reader for you you need to go and find the reader that's for you you know anyway strength could be feeling strong courageous today um, there's a bit of black sheep energy in here some of you are comparing yourself to people around you and you're kind of wanting to be accepted and loved by people which isn't really happening if you're the black sheep anyway but um you you want to be more conventional than you are and that's not your way you've got the four of pentacles you need to hold your energy back keep it to yourself um you don't need to get other people to say yay to you uh, all you need to do is know it for yourself so if you've got if you're on like a weird path right <laughs> um you're not going to get very many people that go yes you're doing the right thing like you know you're not going to get a line of people doing that but you're going to you're going to instead poke at their fears you know because they're they're like oh my god if i did that that would be totally scary and wrong but you've got the courage to do it you see because you've got the courage to do it because it's your path or you're gaining the courage to do it because it's your path it's all about doing the little things you see we can set our sights high but it, the high it's it's about deeper it's about small things or a few people and depth than it is about go big or go home so the chariot you pulled in two directions because of comparitis we shouldn't compare ourselves with anyone really not with anyone I mean, I do like a bit of healthy competition when it comes to sports and stuff like that, where competition is right. Do you know what I mean? Like, competition is great when it's to do with sports. It fires you up and, you you know, it's really exciting. When it comes to, like, our body types and stuff like that, it's like, no, there shouldn't be competition about that. Or our personalities or our, our gifts, there shouldn't be competition about that right because that's ourselves and we're all unique and we're supposed to be unique so the chariot pulled in two directions queen of voices and the ace of inspiration if you follow this new start this like, inspiring passionate new start queen of voices is is the the boundaries need to be in place for you to do that so you need you just need boundaries you need to stop seeking validation from the th people that you're comparing yourself with or just stop comparing yourself to other people and allow yourself to be your unique self and do it your own way What's behind that is past present and future and you're learning these lessons you have been learning these lessons you're going to be learning these lessons and until we're like cool about our own ourselves and our own path we stand in our own way and our own progression anyway this advice isn't for everybody but this is like your just look for deeper and smaller little tweaks the small things that you can do that it's reaching higher because it's it's not bigger it's deeper <laughs> okay the magician it sounded weird that's what she said the magician what we manifest in or what is this manifestation manifestation is coming to the forefront and it seems to be since that new moon that we had in scorpio that i said was in libra because ai told me it was in libra <laughs> AI, 
There's so much inf misinformation out on the internet that AI hasn't a clue, right? We've got the hang news, changing your mind about it, two of emotions, love match, and the four of voices, healing, okay. What you wanted in a love match, changing your mind about that, seeing things from a new perspective, four of voices, there's some more healing to do or more relaxed about it now. So you're manifesting a love match, but you're more relaxed about it now because you're seeing, you've seen a different perspective and what you were looking for was perhaps coming from an unhealed place. But it's, it's more about taking it easy. You're easier about it now. You see, the person that's right for you is going to be a unique match to you. And the more you are embracing your unique self and living that, that path, that unique path that you've got, the more you're going to be shining out to that other person that is also very unique, but a, a match to you. There's never going to be an exact match, which is why we're so unique. But there will be someone that's right for you in relationship. There's discernment behind that. So you're discerning. So this is no longer like trying to saddle. It's no longer like sifting through those that are currently around us. It's that, um, you know, I'm cool about it now. I know that there's going to be a love match out there and I'll recognize them right away because they'll be so matchy-matchy that it'll be a hell yes for me. And there isn't a hell yes around me at the moment. It's that kind of an energy. But I'm manifesting it. I know that I'm manifesting it. I know that I'm manifesting when I focus on myself and I'm even more of myself and allowing myself to be more of myself and not comparing myself to everyone around me. Because when we're shining as our true selves like that, that's when we're shining out to that one that is that match to us, or we will be. So that's when you know you're manifesting it, right? Got to love and accept ourselves first and be ourselves. Strength card, you got this. You got this. Strength, all of it. It seems to be career stuff, but it seems like very much soul calling stuff in today's reading, as well as love match stuff too. Ooh, what, why? Why strength and courage? There's too many cards then. It's very humid in here today. Humidity makes very bad hair and sticky cards. So the shuffling is a bit off. So if you see me not taking as many, it's because of the humidity. Chunks of cards fall out just because they're sticking to each other. Well, I've got the strength card here. The air con is struggling to take the moisture out of the air. It's rainy season. Temperance. Okay, it's about your emotional self, right? There's a struggle within yourself, and if you if you're winning that struggle within yourself, so that you're cool about yourself, that's where you get the strength and courage. So strength and courage isn't about external stuff like going for this thing, going going for like bigger YouTube count or whatever, more subscribers, more likes, and all of that stuff that we do, even sometimes when we're not in that kind of business, looking for that recognition. It's not in that. It's it's in yourself, of course. <laughs> it's, it was within yourself, that love and acceptance within yourself. You truly shine out. And masculine energy is behind that. So it's it's loving and embracing the, the what you do, what you take action on, what you want to take action on, what you don't want to take action on, just because you're you. And it's aligned with you. Four of Pentacles, so holding your energy back. So it's like, I don't need to compare myself. I don't need to explain myself. I don't need to justify why I'm doing my own thing. I'm reaching higher for myself, my version of higher, not your version of higher, not other people's versions of higher and better, not, not what other people think I should be going for, but what's really important to me. So there's something very much about priorities our priorities being very different than other people's priorities and that being good and we need to be good about that and then that's where we'll get our confidence from. Ascension. And ascension is by, about having a higher awareness. So we can be at a low awareness, a muggle human level of awareness and be operating from that. Or we can go higher than that and see a bigger picture. We can go really high and see that we're just this spirit, you know, just this spirit, just this spirit. And... From that level, we are really moving and shaking. Then we really are getting on with what we came here for. So see the bigger picture, get your priorities right, your specific priorities right. Okay, what about our love lives today? What's going on in our love lives? Let me know what you think about the idea of masterclasses. If I was running a masterclass with a, a small group of you, would you want me to help you out with is it manifestations of abundance manifestations of love life or like healing particular things let me know because i'm thinking about 
forming like small class group things perhaps here on YouTube I'm not sure yet love lives when you pass from this world you'll take nothing with you but your soul your spirit and the memories you've shared with those you love right and primarily it's you I mean you're the most you're the most important one that needs to love yourself what you think of yourself is the most important um, that's why we need to find self-love first because it's the relationship with ourselves that matters mostly it's how you've been with yourself do you realize there's only one person that's ever been there for you your whole life every single moment every single day every single night and it's you and what if you were really there for yourself like really there for yourself let your fears dissolve you're right where you need to be right now let your fears dissolve some of you you need to know that you're not alone you might be alone and be looking for a, a relationship because you feel alone but you're not alone you've got a whole team behind you spiritual team behind you and when you tune into that higher awareness of who you really are you're not going to feel alone at all and you're never going to feel lonely I can spend days and days and days just enjoying like following the path like my path will be I don't know I wake up in the morning like on, on my days off and, and I'm tuning in and then it's, I have an idea to do something I follow that like I did that yesterday and I was like I was I ended up um, doing a new moon list I'm, I'm doing this in advance actually on the new moon in Scorpio day but to sort out my iPad and make it look really cute and put new apps on there to sort things out. Creativity is not a competition is the quote that just popped up and changed there and you got this. Um, and, and I did that and I did it all day and it took me down, down a lot of different routes and that was from writing a new moon wish list and ordering an apple pencil which was on my wish list I'm like well I'll just get it for myself and it took me down this whole route of of doing that and it's it was a fantastic day it was a really fantastic day I was all alone but I wasn't alone I was having fun with my guides following each lead and each idea and learning and doing things and it was great and I could do that for days and days it's exciting being by myself and my guides <laughs> I'm weird like that but I'm cool with myself like that we've got open up and effort open up and effort right so opening our hearts requires effort if it feels like a big effort for you to do that opening your heart to other people perhaps it's not the time to do it perhaps it's the time to be focused on yourself yeah We've got infidelity popped out and feeling unwanted so yeah there could be loneliness like kind of looming but it's that it's not don't be unfaithful to yourself put yourself first prioritize yourself the feeling of loneliness is for us to face the untruth of that always go deeper always go deeper so what else in the energies today or from another perspective rather than say always go deeper is always set your awareness higher always take it to another level what if there's a higher way of looking at this what if this is happening for a reason there's a higher in even higher purpose You've got to stop that with the human thinking and then get aware of the higher purpose of what could be the meaning of this what why is this perfect why is what's happening for me right now exactly where I need to be and perfect for me right now teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex yeah friendships a money path path with money is waiting for you to find it I feel like we're being led to that now tankard celebration fun enjoyment Duh. by yourself perhaps diamond you'll be receiving a precious gift and it could be an idea vulture depression anxiety worry that someone's against you there's that there's this like bad feeling like underneath going on today but I wouldn't buy into it if I were you 
Thank you for your yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my decks for a specific question that you've got, you can book in for one of my one question readings on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. If you've got many questions or you want like in-depth information and guidance about one specific question, you might want to, gonna want to get a full reading with me, private reading you can book in for one of those there's a link in the description box below and also one up there too oh wow okay how best to deal with these en energies today the empress know who you truly are the empress is the highest perception of the feminine divine feminine know who you truly are see it you're a spirit this human life is an illusion you're really a spirit we've got a body and the human life is important but when you start operating from that high level, everything gets really magical. So think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes, go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. Good luck with that. Um, I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show. All very good reasons to click that subscribe button below. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there, right now, and watch that next if you want. I have the best day ever, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.